be different than what it had been in years past. In years past, it was at a place called Shades of Green in the park, and they changed it to the Hilton. So I was outside the park. Mm. But I still got to wear sequins. Um, I still got to wear some sequins, um, Minnie Mouse ears. When in Rome, yeah. right? <laughs> It was it was a beautiful area though. I gotta say Orlando is really beautiful. It's really pretty. Alright, let's get started. So from any comfortable position, let's bring awareness first to the breath. You can put one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. And just notice when you inhale, where is the breath going? What part of the body is responding to your breath? Breathe in through the nose as much as possible. And exhale like you're blowing out birthday candles. Inhaling in through the nose. Exhale, pursing the lips. Exhale is more important than the inhale. So we could always contract the stomach a little bit getting out every bit of stagnant air and make space for another deep breath. Big inhale. Bigger exhale. Let's shape the breath into three parts. As you inhale, push the stomach out first. The breath will come through the ribs and then the third part of the breath is at your heart. You'll lift your chest. As we exhale, relax your chest, pull in your waistline, then pull your stomach muscles in. The hardest part of that breath to access is usually right here. It's the center ribs. Just focus on belly and heart, and over time, that center place will come in. Inhaling into the belly, the breath will pass through the ribs, and then breathe up into your heart. As we exhale, relax the heart. The breath will naturally drop through the ribs, and then pull the stomach in. Inhaling belly, ribs, heart. Exhaling heart, ribs, belly. We're keeping that rhythm and we might even begin to count the breath, making it an equal ratio breathing pattern. Inhaling one, two, three, lift the heart. Exhale, three, two, one, relax the belly. Keeping that rhythm, you could count faster or slower. You're also welcome to close your eyes. Continue to think about filling the lungs from the bottom to the top, then empty from the top down. Inhaling one, two, three, sitting tall with the fullness of the breath. Exhale, three, two, one, relax your low back and hips. A couple more like this. Inhaling one, two, Three, sitting tall with the fullness of the breath. And then exhale, three, two, one, pull the navel into the spine. To shape this even more, let's put both hands on the stomach and try to keep the breath in the stomach only. No movement in the heart. Inhaling, stomach pushes out. Exhaling, belly pulls in. If you feel like you need a bigger breath, breathe to the side also. Inhale, belly out, and sides of the belly expand. Exhale, pulling in the sides, and pulling the front of the stomach in as well. Continue to breathe low in the lungs. This is often called belly breathing. In um, more like therapeutic settings, we call it a diaphragmatic breath. It has to do with the way it's using your breathing muscles. Let's do a few more, keeping the belly breath, inhaling down low into the belly, 
and then out to the sideways. Pause before it gets to the heart. Exhale, pull in the waist, pull in the stomach. One more. Inhaling belly into the side rib area, and then exhale, relax. Let's relax the hands down beside us. We could always scoot a little more to the front of our chair. I like to feel that my feet are able to bear a lot of weight in case I wanted to stand up. I want to feel my feet connected. Let's open the palms. Inhale, sweeping both arms back, up and around. Go ahead and touch your shoulders with your fingertips. And as you exhale, pull the elbows back, opening through the chest. Let's bring the elbows all the way open to center. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, pull them back and around. Nice big shoulder circles with the elbows. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back and around. Matching the movement to the breath. Inhale, pull up the ribs, open the chest. It's almost like we're getting ready to yawn like when you first wake up in the morning. The big movement of a ah, yawning type movement. Let's do one more circle with the elbows. Inhaling, open. Exhaling, down and in. Bringing the elbows in front of the body. Let's contract the belly and pull the elbows in as close as possible. As we inhale, we'll open the chest, open the elbows. You could even lift the fingertips up by your head so it's almost like we're creating butterfly wings. Inhale, open. Exhale, contract. Elbows in towards touching. Inhale, open. Exhale, contract in. At least a couple more. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, contract in. One more. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, contract in. Let's lower our hands onto our knees with the body contracted. We're shifting forward. Inhale, push into your legs to lift from your sternum and ribs. Opening the throat, looking up at the ceiling, seated cow. Find the breath here, breathe into the center of the chest. Big inhale, exhale, chin to chest, round the spine and stretch the arms out over your knees. From center, palms are on the thighs, we're coming forward. Inhale, pulling up the ribs, the sternum and the collarbones, looking up to the ceiling. Exhale, stretch the arms out, rounding through the back. Inhaling, coming forward, cow position, stretching through the intestines and gut. Exhale, cat position, rounding the spine. One more of each. Inhale forward, seated cow. Exhale back, seated cat rounding through the spine. Coming through center, let's open the palms of the hands. Inhale, sweeping the arms back and around, reaching up and looking up. Palms forward, exhale, sweep the hands back and around, palms up at about shoulder height. Float the hands down, reach it out, inhale, Exhale, palms forward, reach it out. Lift the palms up to the shoulder height. Inhale, sweep, dynamic reach, opening up. Exhale, back and around, shoulder height. One more time, then we'll add on to this. Inhale, back, dynamic, up and around. Exhale, back and around, palms up. Adding on, inhale, sweep the arms back. Exhale, swan dive, hands go onto the thighs or to the shins. Inhale, cow position, peel up the heart and the sternum and hold it there. Exhale, cat position, round the spine and reach the hands forward. 
When you're ready, inhale, lengthen the spine, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down, shift forward. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Arms to the side, inhale, seated mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Shift forward. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Coming to center, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, relax the hands down, holding onto the sides of the seat. Let's lift our toes, lifting the right knee, heel tap, left knee, tap. Continue to alternate. You could match the breath to this movement. It's exhale when you lift, inhale, switch sides. Exhale, inhale. Working with the lower core muscles. These core muscles also support the bladder health and support the low back. Let's do just a couple more on each side. Absolutely no rush with this. Lifting up the right leg. Let's take the hands away from the chair, reaching forward with the left arm, opposite arm, opposite leg, taking it down, left leg, right arm, and down, right leg, left arm. Continue to alternate, opposite arm, opposite leg. It's kind of like a marching expression, except we're not flat-footed, we're able to march on our heels since there's no excessive weight on the feet. We'll continue to march before we add this on, on to this movement. Let's do four more, starting here. We have four, three, two, and one. Let's inhale the arms up. Imagine you're holding on to a volleyball or maybe even a basketball. If your shoulders hurt, hold on to a beach ball. That way we don't pinch nerves in your neck. Big inhale, reach. Lifting the right knee. We're turning to tap our imaginary ball on top of the knee or outside the leg. Inhale, come to center. Left knee up, either to the knee or outside the knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Reach, twist. Working with side oblique muscles, so it's core muscles that are at the side of the waistline, ultimately protecting your ribs and the side of the hip. Let's do eight from here. Count with me. Eight, seven, seven six, five, four, three, two. One. From here, take the hands behind you. Thumbs are facing down. You can hold on to the seat of the chair or to the back of the chair, being mindful of any of the hinges and brackets. We don't want them to pinch the skin. Let's shift our weight forward. Maybe even take the feet out wide, toes out with the heels in. From here, we can lean forward keeping a firm hold on that chair so that we are aware of any tipping points. And y'all know what a tipping point is. It's the point where you tip over. So sometimes you don't know your tipping point until you tip over. Um, so we're getting close to the tipping point, but not tipping over. From here, opening up through your heart, inhale, breathe into the center of your chest and lift up through your collarbones. It'll be reminiscent of a seated cow, but different. Exhale, relax, no rounding in the spine. Inhale, pull forward, chest opener, lead through the heart, look up at the sky, and then exhale, come to neutral. Two more like that, coming forward. Inhale, pull up, crown of the head lengthening, looking up at the ceiling. Exhale, neutral. We have one more. Inhaling forward, lifting up, looking up, 
and then exhale, relax forward. Let's extend our arms out into a five-pointed star. Exhale, pull the elbows into the ribs and shift forward. Moon flower flow. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, slowly pulling down. Maybe begin to count the breath again. Inhaling, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Option to close the eyes. Two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Couple more. Big breath in. Sunflower flow, moonflower flow. We're going to put it all together in just a moment. Inhale, sweep it overhead. This time, sweep your arms in front of your knees, left hand on top. Inhale, come up, left arm in front. Exhale down, right arm on top. Inhale up, right arm in front. One more time for you. Exhale, left arm on top. Inhale, left arm in front. Exhale, right arm on top. Inhale, right arm in front. From here, opening up. As we exhale, we're lifting the heels and pulling the elbows behind us, staying high on the tippy toes. Drop the heels, inhale, reach up, clap. Exhale, bring it down, high on the toes, shifting forward. Sitting back, inhale, palm press. Exhale, heels up. Option to close the eyes, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Couple more, steady pace. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Just one more, heels down. Inhale, one, two, three. Heels up, exhale, three, two, one. Let's place our hands on the thighs and walk the feet in a little closer. The toes and knees can still go out if you find this feels better for your back or bring the feet in as close as hips width. From here, let's take our left hand. We're turning towards the right, weaving that hand underneath your right armpit. The palm is facing up as we're reaching over looking up and over the right shoulder. Try finding the breath underneath your right shoulder blade. The breath will naturally take the path of least resistance. When you're ready, let's come to center. Left hand on the leg, right palm up. Weaving it through, thread the needle side. Looking over our shoulder. Feeling the breath move under your left shoulder blade. Coming to center. From here, let's speed it up just a little bit and change it up. So we're weaving through and then come up. Take your palm out to the side and open as much as the body will permit. Big inhale. Exhale, weave it through. Inhale, pull it away and extend up. Exhale, thread the needle, weave it through. Inhale, pull up and wave. Let's lower our left hand down. Starting with the inhale, breathe in. Exhale, weave it through, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, coming up. Reach. Exhale, weave it through. One more, inhale, take it up, big breath in, exhale, weave it through. From here, let's come to center, bringing the feet in about the width of the pelvis bones. Oftentimes in exercise, you'll be cued to bring your feet to hips width. 
So the natural fleshy hip is actually not the hips width we're looking for. We're looking for hips in alignment with your pelvis bone. This is majority of the time creating the safest alignment for weight bearing in your bones. It's creating a straight line with the bones. Let's inhale our arms up and overhead, extended mountain. If you want, lift your heels, breathe into the center of your chest. At the top of the breath, reach just a little more. Imagine you're gonna climb a rope. Reach just a little more. Just when we think there's nothing left in there, I promise there's just a little bit left. When you're ready, drop your heels, sweep the hands back and around, reaching forward. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades back and press the shoulders down. On your next inhale, come forward, scoop up the breath, having the option to scoop with the arms or stay secure in the chair. Exhale, taking our time, let's slowly lower down and reset. Inhaling. Good job, Mama. Good job. Good job, Chica. You got it. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down. Reach forward. Inhale, pull the shoulders back first. Exhale, press the shoulders down. And then inhale, scoop up. So we are really matching inhale and exhale for specific reasons. Come down nice and slow. We want to activate all of the necessary muscles in the spine to lift and lower, not just the legs. Inhale, reach it up. It can help to pull your feet back a little bit too. Exhale down, pull the shoulders back, inhale. Retraction, exhale, depression, and now fingertip light. Find your inhale and lift. Wow! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? She popped right up. It's the hip hinge. You got it. All right, slowly come down. What I love about these classes is that we learn what we are so capable of just by how we approach different patterns of movement with the breath. So very cool. It's all in the hip hinge and the alignment. From here, let's go ahead and turn to the left edge of our chair. We're extending the left leg out a little bit more straight, keeping that right knee bent. From here, hands are supporting on the thighs. Let's lean forward, testing out our center of gravity. Inhale, slowly come up, and maybe straighten the arms and round your spine. Tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, curl the spine back. Contract the abdomen. We're basically doing abdominal crunches right now. Come forward. Inhale. Exhale down, inhale, come up, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale down, inhale up, exhale back, inhale to the forward neutral position. Let's extend the right arm out in front of us as if we're going to shake hands. Begin to reach down towards your left leg. On the next inhale, lift the arm straight up, circle it behind you, sweep it past the hip, and then reach again towards the foot. Inhale, bringing it up. Exhale, down and around, past the hip, reach to the foot. Inhale, lift and open. Keep the jaw relaxed. When we manipulate the jaw muscles, we are neurologically able to manipulate the hip and the low back muscles more. We want a lot of hip movement in this because we don't want the spine to overcompensate for tight low back and hips. 
taking it forward, reducing injury, right? Reduce the risk of injury. Open up, down and around. From here, let's bring both hands onto our left leg, extend the right arm, I mean left arm, my apologies. Right arm stays on your left thigh, extend the left arm. Inhale, reach it straight up, push your left hip down, maybe lean a little bit towards the back of your chair, and now twist towards the exit door. So you're opening up and twisting towards those exit doors. When you're ready, bring it around to center. Let's drag this left foot in. Find a little symmetry at center, a little bit of cat and cow. Feet are at the width of the pelvis bones. Come forward, inhale, pull up the ribs and the heart and look up at the sky. Exhale, contract the stomach and stretch the arms out. Inhaling, shifting forward, pulling up through the heart and sternum, looking up. Exhale, contract the belly, chin to chest. One more. We're taking just a little opportunity to flow between those leg and arm stretches to establish a neutral foundation. Let's come to center, and now we can turn over to the right edge of our chair. Extending the right leg, keeping the left knee bent, and maybe even keeping that leg back just a little bit. Both hands are on the thighs, shifting forward first, Inhale, come up. Exhale, round it back. Straighten the arms. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold forward. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, hold it at center. We're reaching with our left hand to the inside of the right foot. Big circle. Inhale, bring it up. Circle. Sweep it past your hip and knee. Then reach again for the right foot. Inhale, sweep it up. Open and reach. Thumb down as we sweep past the hip. Inhale, open, big breath in. Reach it behind you, thumb up, and now thumb down. Sweep past the hip. One more time, working with the rotator cuff. Inhale, thumb up, thumb down, and then reach it forward. Let's keep our left hand on the right thigh. Inhale, bring the right arm up. Push down into your right hip, and now slowly twist to face the back of your chair, lowering that arm. Breathing mostly into your upper right lung. Big inhale, and bigger exhale. One more big inhale, and then exhale, come around to center. Let's bring the feet to that mountain position, open to the width of the hips, Pull the heels back, symmetry time. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive, hands on the knees. Inhale, seated cow, pull up. Exhale, rounding into cat. Two more like that. Coming forward, inhale. Exhale, take it back. Forward and down, inhale, pull up cow position, exhale round the spine, cat position. Let's come to center, holding on to the sides of the chair. We can scoot forward a little bit if we want. From here, we're turning our right toe out to the side and we can walk the left foot more to the middle. You have the option to cross the left leg in front of the right maybe cross a full cross high on the thigh, or you're also welcome to cross with your ankle on the thigh. So do whatever feels right for your body. The main thing is that the right leg is in front. We're crossing over the midline. These are called um, 
uh, uh, bilateral and lateral movements, and it's to help the brain continue to communicate to left and right hemisphere. Let's take our left arm, sweep it back, up, and around. Imagine you're holding on to a million helium balloons. Inhale, reach. Plano Balloon Festival is coming up soon. So hold on to a hot air balloon. Whee! <laughs> when you're ready, pat yourself on the back. Let's take our right hand forward. Take it up and now take it back. Turn the thumb down, hinge at the elbow, and slide the knuckles of your right hand in by your back. Oh yeah, it's looking very Cirque du Soleil now. All twisted up. All right, work towards opening. And the more we open, the more we may be able to walk the left fingertips to the middle back or walk your right hand up to the middle back. Some of you might be able to touch fingertips. Some of us may not. Some of us may never get there because it just has, sometimes we call them T-Rex days in yoga. Sometimes you're just having a T-Rex day. Your hands will never touch. Inhale, open, big breath. Pull back. Exhale, bring the left hand to the low back. Chest expansion. Stack your right hand on top of your left arm. On the inhale, pull the elbows back and press the shoulders away from the ears. We're staying here for three more expanding breaths. This is a breath used to strengthen your upper spine. The lungs will do most of the work. Inhale into your chest only. Lift through the heart, press the shoulders down, and now exhale, relax a little bit. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your heart. It is a back bend. Exhale, relax. One more, inhale, elbows back, shoulders down, look up at the sky and then exhale, relax. Release the hands, shake it off. Let's cross our left leg over the right leg. And maybe it looks different from left to right. Maybe one side does cross over. Maybe one side does do a figure four. We don't have to do the same thing on left and right. Let's open the palms. Take the right hand back, up, reach. One big hot air balloon, inhale. Exhale, pat yourself on the back. Left hand forward. Take it up, take it back, thumb down, hinge at the elbow, knuckles to the low back. As we inhale, we're pulling the elbows back. You're pushing your left hip down while you pull your right shoulder blade back. And that's what creates the twist and also helps us to get our hands closer together. Option to look down, closing the eyes. Think about where the breath might be going in the body. Inhaling, open, pull the elbows back. Exhale, keep the muscles engaged. They will want to naturally retract. Inhale, pull open, big breath. Exhale, small retraction. Let's take our right hand into the low back. Left hand stays on top. Inhaling, chest expansion, look up, lift the chin, strengthening the neck. Exhale, relax a little bit and look down at the floor. Two more, inhaling, elbows back, flood the body with fresh breath. Exhale, let it all go. One more, inhaling, elbows back, lift the ribs, Collarbones up, chin open, look at the sky. Exhale, relax the whole body. Let's take our hands away from the back and hold on to the chair. Walk the feet out, opening up the palms of the hands. Let's practice 10 jumping jacks. When you're ready, out, in, out, in. Eight from here, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, last one, one. Hands come down. Let's hold on to the side of the chair. Maybe scoot forward. 
We're lifting our toes, lifting the right knee. This is a movement we already practiced. Lean a little bit to the left and now straighten it out. It's a little karate chop. hi -ya! And now bring it to center and down, just like that. Can you tell? I should have been a black belt. And lean over, lift your knee. One, two, three. hi -ya! Kick it out. Bring it to center and down. Let's keep that rhythm. Lift, kick, center, down. Lift, kick, center, down. Good. Lift, kick, center, down. Lift, kick. One more time, alternating, then we isolate. Lift, kick, center, down. Lift, kick. Center, keep it on the right leg. It's lift, kick, in, kick. Hamstring curl. Kick, in, kick. Good. Four, kick, three, two, one. Other side. Lift, kick, in, kick, in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it to center. Take your feet out wider than the hips or as wide as the fleshy hip and touch your knees together. Let's move into a little bit of core work. I'm scooting forward so I can bring my heels back. From here, as I lean back, I'm hovering my feet. Pulling the knees up as far as they will go. And then set the heels down. Think about connecting, whether the feet lift or not. Think about connecting to the nerves. It all begins with a thought. One, two, three, inhale. And exhale, bring it down. One, two, three, inhale. Thinking about the feet. And exhale. One, two, three, inhale. And exhale, just one more. One, two, three, lift it up. And exhale, relax. From here, let's lift just our left knee. Lift the left toe. Extend the leg out. We're keeping the toe to the ceiling as we slide it out. And then bring it in. And maybe a little bit towards the right. Center, out, center, in. Good. Center, out, center, in. Center, press, center, in. Four more, press, center, three from here. Center, press, center, in. Center, press, center, just one more. Center, press, center, in, relax. I say just. I attempt to minimize it, but I know it's work. Okay. From here, let's lift our right toe. Again, the feet are very close together. Extend the right leg. We're taking it out and then center and press it towards the left. Center, out, center, in. Center, out, center, in. Center, out, center, Center, four more, halfway point. Center, four, center, in, center, three, center, in, center, two, center, in. Last one, center, one, center, in, and now relax. Sit back, relax. We have about 10 minutes. Let's work through some mindfulness and small motor skills. Let's turn the palms up for a run through Kirtan Kriya. This is a specific type of mindfulness exercise that has been endorsed by the Alzheimer's Association as well for the way it helps us to recruit different parts of the brain. So the first thing we do is index finger to the thumb and say sa, oh, sa, middle finger, Ta, ring finger, na, pinky finger, ma, 
And then we establish a rhythm and begin the chant. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na. Now a whisper. the rhythm in your head. Whisper again. Now say it loud. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na. One more. Sa, ta, na, ma. And now relax, relax, relax. So sit however you want as we're moving into mindfulness. Closing the eyes, working with creative visualization. Sometimes it is possible to be under so much stress that our brain has a hard time creating images for us. So we're just going to close the eyes and work on seeing colors or experiencing colors, not even images. Take a moment to consider the color red, bright red, and notice any object that could be associated to it. An apple, a cherry, strawberries, blood, which is the medium in which all of our DNA and cells are thriving. Now experience orange, like a bright, juicy, sun-kissed orange. Or the orange we might see with a sunset or a sunrise. Now gold, experiencing yellow or gold. A yellow lemon, rays of sunlight. Green, bright green, the color of fresh growth, the color of an emerald, blue, turquoise blue, the color of the water of the Bahamas, or like a turquoise stone, or maybe even a, a baby robin egg. Indigo, the color of blueberries, somewhere between a deep navy blue and a purple. Finally, we have violet, an amethyst shade of purple. As you inhale, feel that you are immersed in a white cloud of vaporescent energy. Inhaling in this cloud, what could happen if you could take the shape of a cloud, letting go of our attachment to the physical form or any physical identity, taking the shape of this cloud that your body is in? Looking high in the sky, we see other clouds. So we may collect our awareness of our body and feel as if you're flying through the sky and you're flying into another cloud. Fully immersed in this experience, when you're ready, take the shape of this cloud. Feel your sense of self and consciousness expanding 
well beyond your physical identity. Inhaling, we are expansive, we are light, there's infinite growth and potential. When you're ready, exhale, collect your sense of self again. Look into the sky and find another cloud or be aware of another shape of a cloud. And when you're ready, inhaling, moving into that space and taking the shape of that cloud. Consciousness infinitely expanding. Self-identity well beyond the physical form. Perhaps affirm to yourself, feeling this expansive energy, affirm, I am that. Always growing, always evolving, a transformational being. Let's take a moment to deepen our breath, uniting mind, breath, and body, awareness of a little effort on the inhale, and awareness of how the lungs are moving. Exhale all the way. When you're ready, bringing our hands together at the heart, pressing into the palms, let's take in a deep, unifying breath. Then exhale, let it go. If you'd like to practice a little acupressure with me today, open the palms of your hands, pull your ring finger in to touch your thumb, extending all of the other fingers. So my ring finger is touching my thumb, index finger, middle finger, pinky finger are straight. From here, we turn the palms up and let them rest in our lap. This is a mudra, or this is a hand gesture we use to stimulate different acupressure points that can help us to feel more confident or safe it builds up a sense of strength in the body and security. Let's take in a big inhale, bigger exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. From here, we can relax our hands, sit tall. This concludes our practice for today, opening our eyes Thank you so much for being here today. Y'all have a wonderful week. You too. You too. Get over your itches. Yeah. <laughs> you scratch it over and over. I'm trying not to. <laughs> trying not to.